Hello YouTubers, how are you guys? We come with new products for you and the particular product in our review today it's from WeLock. It's a smart door lock with fingerprint. You know we reviewed the last time a door lock which you had the Bluetooth and uh, some free cards which you can unlock your door. It's easy to mount. And this one, it's a new version and uh, I think it's an improved version because it has fingerprints. We salute our friends from the company WeLock. We'll make a presentation to their products. We'll make a, a mounting to a door. And I'm gonna show you everything there is, guys, for this product. I think it's an interesting product for me because especially you can leave your keys uh, at home and you can use your fingerprint to access the door. And this is a wonderful thing. Let's make an unboxing and we will talk as we unbox this, uh, this product. You can uh, use up to uh, 100 fingerprints. So if uh, it's an office door, for example, every employee can use up to 100 fingerprint scan. And uh, it's something uh, Willock says that uh, uh, it can have a possibility of free fingerprints administrators. Okay, so guys, inside, very briefly, because we're not putting accent on the uh, unboxing, we have a manual. We have the cards, free cards of access inside a box with two screws. You will need them when you unscrew this uh, door lock and some keys inside. Keys for unscrewing those screws, not actually keys that you will use to unlock your door because uh, physically keys you will not have so this is the lock guys i think it's interesting because you will mount it so easily you can just remove this cylinder put it into your door it's a simple operation you will need to feed it with free batteries uh, type uh, 3a and uh, then set your uh, fingerprint set your uh, cards and you're good to go it's uh, ip44 water resistant you can use it even outside. I think in rain we'll, you will not have problems with it. And it has an electrostatic protection up to 30,000 volts. Guys, this is the cylinder lock. This is the fingerprint. Let's open it and put some batteries and mount it to the door. This is, uh, we have, I think these are spare screws for the cylinder. Basically you, We'll unscrew this. Let's unscrew it, put free batteries. And you will put you'll pull and the batteries are fitted right here. You will put this, uh, you will pull out, unscrew this cylinder and you can adjust it. You have here some adjusting if you see. Okay, you can adjust it to your needs, to your door. And another trick, guys, if I show you this, let's put it here. You can even adjust the batteries. On the website, you not find this, but you can unscrew this. The battery cylinder, you can adjust it just a little bit, exactly like this. You have from zero to five, a half of centimeters, five millimeters. If I can show you, just like this, and you can adjust it to your needs. So now let's put three batteries, let's set it up and let's mount it to the door. So let's see. Batteries, very simple. And now guys, we have to download the application, we lock and register, add we lock and let's scan this code guys. Okay, and we have a lock ID. I'm not going to show you the lock ID for this. Uh, it's on uh, the other part. You got to put the lock ID and this is the pairing. So guys, to register uh, an administrator fingerprint, you can hold this button five seconds until it will tell you. Press five seconds system configuration. Please authorize. But first time will not give you this uh, 
please uh, authentication because I already put uh, my finger and I already registered and now you just got to you can use the door lock to unlock it and now it's off after a period of five seconds or ten seconds it will activate and deactivate this uh, knob here the first time will tell you to put your finger to uh, configure the system let's hold it again okay I put my finger add administration finger pit accepting and you will set it up duplicated it tells me duplicate because I already put it I put my uh, this thumb and uh, to delete all the it's quite a tricky but you have to read this brochure and it will tell you exactly how to set it up it's not hard you have to register the administrator fingerprint and uh, with five seconds you can uh, go through the authentication through this menu come on okay add user fingerprint and you see here uh, administrator or user fingerprint you have two now guys to add the cards um, go and um, hold five seconds this button and hold it ag again ag until you this message and now you can switch delete filter print clear or passwords clear or user fingerprint add and there guys you saw add card you had an option to add a card let's go back delete fingerprint add ac card and let's add one card let's take it out from this uh, protective cover plastic cover add card please swipe new user card user zero one and this is how you add guys the mounting of this uh, so this is how you add your fingerprints if your administrator you can delete or add up, up to 100 uh, fingerprints users um, the first time you use it it's a bit a little bit tricky but if you follow this instruction and hold like I'm holding you can add the fingerprints and uh, every you can do all, all all you want when when you are in this uh, menu add remote controller this is uh, quite interesting um, you can open it up even with the Bluetooth you will not need bluetooth to set up this first i think you will need bluetooth to add uh, with the phone but no you can set it up only with this uh, button and you can put your fingerprint here you can uh, put even uh, your pin number i think here i don't know if it supports it here or you have to put it with the remote control with the smartphone you can set the lock time and um, I think with the phone you can schedule to um, open at a specific hour I think uh, I saw somewhere in the phone this option authorization management yes you have here uh, start time end time you see you have a lot of settings here and you can put uh, as you want as you please to open or close this lock I will put some images guys for to guide you from our previous video that one is with a keypad it's not important it's the same procedure to all these devices are the same this one is different because it has fingerprint the mounting procedure is the same so let's go guys let's see it so it's 70 millimeters or seven centimeters so from the middle of the screw it has 48 millimeters 48 the exterior door because it fits here and uh, I remove the ornaments the interior ornament and the exterior ornament are metal ornaments it will not work with this one is too bad so I'm trying to reuse this ornament the old one and uh, to fit it in the same position to see if I can uh, put nicely and discreet and not to 
be visible and now guys so i reverse this ornament so i think it looks nice so now guys look how good it looks and it works also without a problem this is just for testing i will not leave it i will put a uh, back because this ornament also is for safety this interior ornament has access to the screws it is not good it's not good to, to left it like this i will see if i will uh, take some ornaments uh, special ornaments for the exterior and the interior i will leave it i will mount them correctly but i want to see if it works so let's see now if i turn the handle it doesn't work so from the application and we can unlock unlocked you see and now we can use to uh, open up or close the door so guys i hope you like this product if it fits you this product i recommend to buy it from uh, amazon you will find it we will put uh, even a link into our description and uh, guys feel free to comment on uh, the box below what do you think what what is your opinion involving this product thank you for watching guys have a pleasant day and see you on the next tutorial or review thank you bye